guys, how's it going? This is Pete, and uh, today we are going to be modeling 3D blocks, uh, children's play blocks here. Uh, we're going to be doing all the modeling in this video. Next video we'll do um, lighting and texturing. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, just start off by uh, moving the camera, the light source, to layer 2. The easiest way to do that is by hitting M and then 2. Alright, after that, we're just going to go ahead and start editing our cube here to give it the borders that you saw uh, at the beginning of the video. If you want to see those again, go ahead and scroll back. Alright, so hit tab, alright, and that will bring you to edit mode. You can also come down here and select edit mode. Control tab, face, and now we have all these faces we can choose from. Alright, now if you don't know how to select a blender, you right click, because that's the only way... Uh, that Blender allows you to select things. So we're going to right click and we're going to hit E and we're going to right click again and we're going to do that all the way around all six sides. So you kind of have to keep track of all the sides that you do or clicks. So I've got all these extruded now but as you can see it's got zero extrude. Uh, that's because we want to create that border. Uh, the way we're going to do that is by hitting S which is going to bring our scale tool and we're going to do 0.85. What that's going to do is it's going to kind of inset uh, the border around the uh, face of the cube. So we'll do that all the way around. So. Right, there we go. So now we have all of these inset. Alright, and now we are going to hit extrude again. And we're going to get the borders just a little bit of an indent. So we'll do negative 0 0.05. And what that'll do is that'll just raise it up uh, just about that much. So e, negative 0 0.05. We're just going to do that all the way around. So it does get a little boring doing this, but uh, it's all right. So now we have the borders here, and we're going to use cycles. And I'll go ahead and put it into rendered mode. And you'll notice that you can see the borders here, but um, they're not as wide as they want. So if you want, you can scale in the actual um, face on the inside, and that'll actually define the edges more. But I think this is going to work fine for our purposes in this video. I'll go back to salad, and now what we want to do is hit Control Alt Q, and then we'll break this up into four viewports. And we're gonna hit Shift A. Hey guys, sorry about this. Uh, my cam studio kind of crashed on me uh, and deleted half the video. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to really quick show you guys how to create letters. All right, and then how to uh, add a constraint so that way they stay on the cube without actually having. Alright, um, the way you create letters is Shift A, text, and that'll bring up this text right here. Hit Tab, go ahead and put it on with A, and we'll also scale this. There we go. And as you can see, we have our letter here. Uh, the next thing you're gonna do is click F, which is your object uh, data and stuff. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down. Oops, sorry. You're gonna come right here to extrude. Go to extrude about 0 0.04 to 0 0.05. I'll cover this view. And what you'll see is that it actually comes up like that. So we're going to have that. Change the depth here. And what that'll do is I'll actually bevel these edges. All right, and ours is 0 0.03 in this case. So that just defines the edges a little bit more. All right, so as far as the text is concerned, concern, uh, that's finished. Besides, you know, just moving it on the box. A really easy thing to do is just to take it, uh, grab the A, put it just below the line right here, your extrusion indent, and then you'll have a relatively convincing look as if the A is actually on top of the cube. Alright, after that you're going to come into this, which is uh, Object Constraints, 
child of and choose cube. So now whenever we move this cube, if we rotate it, whatever, uh, our A is going to be connected. All right, guys, that's the end of this video for modeling. Thanks for watching. Um, next video will be on rendering and texturing. So I hope to see you guys there. Thanks a lot.